welcome to the Buckeye Public Library System Storytime with Carly, Silvana, and Mamie. Hello and welcome to Storytime. We're so glad you could join us today. I'm Miss Carly. I'm Miss Silvana. Miss Mamie. It is week six of our summer reading program and this week's theme is Furry Friends and Mythical Creatures. If you haven't already registered for the summer reading program, you can do that at read20az.org. And just for watching today's video, you can earn 15 points towards your goal of 1,000 points for the summer. Make sure to stay tuned to the end of the video to get your code. All right, we're going to get started with our hello song. This is called Everybody Wave Hello, and it's to the tune of Mary Had a Little Lamb. You guys ready? Yes. Ready. Will you guys join me at home? Let's do it. Ready? Everybody wave hello, wave hello, wave hello. Everybody wave hello, let's have some fun. Everybody clap hello, clap hello, clap hello. Everybody clap hello. Now our song is done. Good job. As we mentioned earlier, our theme today is furry friends and mythical creatures. And my favorite mythical creature is the dragon. So we're going to have a lot of fun with dragons today. We're going to start out by counting down dragons. Let's see how many dragons we have to start out with. One, two, three, four, five. Can you guys show me five? All right, so we're going to start with five and count down. So it goes like this. Five green dragons making such a roar. One danced away, and then there were four. Let's count. One, two, three, four. Can you guys show me four? All right. Four green dragons dancing around a tree. One danced away, and then there were three. Let's count. One, two, three. Three green dragons dancing around you. One danced away, and then there were two. Let's count. One, two. Can I show me two? Two green dragons dancing in the sun. One danced away, and then there was one. You guys count? One. Good job. One green dragon having lots of fun. She danced away, and then there was none. Now, even though all our dragons are gone, stay tuned because we have a lot more fun coming up with dragons. Today, we are reading Waking Dragons. It's written by Jane Yolen and illustrated by Derek Anderson. And we're reading with permission from Simon & Schuster. Oh look, the mom left a note. It says, don't forget to wake the dragons before school. Love, mom. All right, let's see if the little knight has any trouble waking the dragons. The dragons wake up. Look at that big old dragon. Dragons rise. Dragons open dragon eyes. Dragons blink. Dragons bumble. Dragons leap. Dragons tumble out of bed. To brush their teeth, the fangs above, the fangs beneath. And their big old teeth. Put their jammies in the hamper. Then all dragons skip and scamper. Down the hall on four big feet to the kitchen there to eat. Breakfast waffles topped with syrup, which makes dragons really cheer up. Mmm, I love waffles. Wipe their faces, runny noses, get into their outdoor closes. Kiss their dragon mom goodbye, leap from cave into the sky. There they go where dragons get to fly. How fun! And 
fly. Look where they're going. They're going to night school. And fly. The end. Carly, what early literacy tip do you have for us today? I have a great tip about print awareness. Now, print awareness is just recognizing that print has meaning. Did you notice as I read the book today that I pointed to each word as I read that? I did that not just to help us because we're reading together, but also because pointing to the words helps children understand that we're reading the text and not the pictures. So parents, when you're reading to your children, try to point to the words that you read to them. That's right. Singing is a great way to help kids fall in love with reading, and we have a great song about dragons. It's going to be the Dragon Pokey. You guys sing with me? Yes. yes. All right, here we go. You put your claws in, you take your claws out. You put your claws in, and you scratch them all about. You do the Dragon Pokey, and you turn yourself around. And that's what it's all about. You put your wings in, you take your wings out. You put your wings in, and you flap them all about. You do the dragon pokey, and you turn yourself around. And that's what it's all about. You put your tail in, you take your tail out. You put your tail in, and you shake it all about. You do the dragon pokey, and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. All right, good job. Today we're going to show you how to make your very own fire-breathing dragon. All right, the supplies you'll need to make that are paper, a toilet paper roll, some tissue paper, and then scissors, glue, and crayons or markers. If you have googly eyes or eyeball stickers, you can use those also. So first, you'll wanna wrap your tube in paper. So just cut your construction paper the size that you need and then glue it or tape it together, tape it on there, and then you can cut out your eyeballs and nostrils. I just cut little pieces and then folded them under to attach them. And then cut strips of uh, tissue paper and you can tape them right in there like that for the flames. Silvana, how did you make yours? I make mine, I painted mine. I use some acrylic paint, any paint that you have at home. And I did two coats of it, and I love how it came out. So if you don't have any paper, if you have some paint, you can use that too. Also, I love my eyelashes, so just be creative with it. I use googly eyes. If you have any googly eyes at home, you can use those. Or sometimes we have a stickers any kind. You can put flower stickers on it as eyes. You just be creative. And the same thing, I use some tissue paper for my flames. Amini, how did you make yours? Oh, okay. Well, Savannah, I too used a tissue roll and I used construction paper. Just a green strip of construction paper to cover for the body. Um, I did use some googly eyes and taped them on the top here. And I got a little creative. I cut some wings out and taped them on the back of there. And for my flames, I also use some tissue paper in different colors. Have fun with it. Those turned out great. And here's the best part about your fire breathing dragon. And don't forget to send us those pictures of your dragons at library at buckeyeaz.gov. That's right, and you'll get 25 points just for making our craft. So have fun making those dragons. Have fun. Thank you so much for joining us today. We hope you guys had a lot, lot of fun learning about dragons, singing songs about dragons. Don't forget to email us your pictures, 25 points, points to your summer reading. And remember, keep reading. 20 minutes a day is good. And you receive one point for every minute read. Be sure to log your points. That's right. And just for watching today's video, you can get 15 points if you enter the code IMAGINE6 at the website read20az.org. All right, before we get going, we want to do our closing song. We're going to sing Skin Marink. You guys ready? Yes. yes. Will you guys join me at home? Let's do it. Skin a marinky dinky ding, skin a marinky doo. I love you. 
Skinnamarinky dinky dink, skinnamarinky do. I love you. I love you in the morning and in the afternoon. Now it's time to go home, but I'll see you soon. Oh, skinnamarinky dinky dink, skinnamarinky do. I love you. Bye, guys. Bye. We'll see you next week.